Hi campers, my name is Amy. I'm a child life specialist here at Cook Children's. Welcome to Did You Know? Our weekly series where we're learning more about our body and how it works. This week we're learning about our blood. In this episode, we're talking about cancer. Did you know that cancer cells sometimes look like a rainbow underneath the microscope? This is because of the stains and dyes that they use to help see the cancer cells. Who knew? I'm gonna send it over to Sarah and Caroline to help us learn more. Hi, I'm a white blood cell. I get instructions from my body on how to do my job. This is how I can perform my job, my life cycle, and how I can make other cells in my body healthy. Here are my instructions. Sometimes though, your body gets bad instructions or mutations, which means that these cells can actually hurt other parts of your body. When these mutations happen, it can cause cancer cells. Cancer cells can actually hurt your body. At the hospital, we can do a lot of things to help you with your cancer. We have chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, even stem cell transplant. These treatments can be hard. You might lose your hair, you might feel sick to your stomach, or you can even get an infection that makes you feel sick. But the good news is all of these treatments are really good at fighting cancer and making your cells healthy again with good instructions. I think Amy has some questions for us. Are there different kinds of cancer? There are many different kinds of cancer. We can have cancer in our blood, in our bones, lots of different places in our body. But the great news is, here at the hospital, we are really good at fighting all different kinds of cancer and helping you get healthy again. What can someone with cancer do to stay healthy? When you have cancer, it's very important that you wash your hands, that you stay away from anybody who is sick, and that you avoid really crowded places where you might get sick. It can also be helpful to call your doctor if you ever have anything that worries you or if you start to feel sick. What kind of doctor do you see if you have cancer? If you have cancer, you'll see an oncologist. Thank you, Caroline and Sarah, for being here today. Thank you. Bye, campers.